Good morning, Kali Kadosh. Pasuk says, Kietza Ahili Yaakov, Mimena Ivashia. It's a time of affliction and difficulty for Kali Israel, but Bezad Hashem will see a salvation, and we all have to do our part. We've said many times, it's not enough to just sit back and relax. We all obviously feel the, the difficulty and the tragedies that are afflicting Kali Israel as a whole, and also as each and every one of us. So we have to be strong, especially spiritually, and do as much as possible. So one of the great things Chazal tell us that is capable of being mevatel gezerot ha'ot, something that is able to nullify harsh decrees. The Shukhan Aruch writes in Siman Nun Vav, Yes lechaven be'aniyat kadish. A person should have a lot of intent and concentration when he answers Kaddish. And it, the source of this is the Gemara in Shabbat Kufyutet, the 119th page. The Gemara says, Amar Rabbi Yeshua ben Levi. What does it mean? The Pasuk says, Pitchu she'arim ve'avoy ve'avod goy tzadik shomer emunim. The Pasuk says in the Navi, Pitchu she'arim, open the gates and welcome the holy nation. Obviously, Am Yisrael, shomer emunim, those who guard emunah. The Gemara says, "Atikra shomer emunim ela she'omrim amen." Those who answer amen bekol kocham, Hashem opens shaarei gan Eden in front of him. And continues the Gemara says in the name of Rabbi Shmuel ben Levi as well. That korim lefanav gzar dino shel shivim shana, seventy years of harsh decrees can be torn up and in, in torn up and ripped apart in the power of answering amen Hashem and Rabbah. So the Machlokat Rashi and Tosfot, what it means to answer bekol kocho. One says bekol kocho means bekol ran, to answer loud. But the Shulchan Aruch and Shabbua says you shouldn't be a crazy, a madman, and start screaming on the top of your lungs. You should do it at a normal tone, but you should do it with a lot of intent. And another says, Kol Kocho means the Kol Evarav, all of his organs, meaning all of his heart. He should pour into the words. So really think about the words you say and really pray that the name of God should be sanctified amongst, obviously, on Kal Yisrael. And one last thing, the Mishabwa, he's very sensitive when he speaks about difficult things. And he, I've seen many times in the Mishabwa where he omits words of Rishonim, because he doesn't want to say anything negative. But look, this is the Mishnah Bua's words. He brings Masechet Derech Eretz. He says, Wukadeita Masechet Derech Eretz, De Rabbi Chama Ashkachel Eliyahu. One day Rabbi Chama saw Eliyahu Navi Zachu Letov. Bekama Alafei Gemalim. He saw thousands of, of camels. Teunim Af Vechema. They were carrying harsh decrees. And he asked him, what is this for? לשלם לאלו וכל המדבר באלו המקומות עם קדיש, קדושה, עם חזרת השץ Look at what a terrible thing he says That's what, that's what he says In the opposite, when a person is careful not to speak Hashem takes all the, those harsh decrees and that the Satan tries to, to bring in the world and he rips them and tears them apart So we should all be zocheh, Bezad Hashem especially in these days to really not speak in the tefillah Thank you everyone for putting effort and really respecting the tefillah and the house of Hashem the Pasuk says, Mechabdai Achabed. Those who honor me, Hashem says, I'll honor you. So, Bezat Hashem, Borelam will answer our prayers and our tefillot. Have mercy on Amisad.